Going Under the Hammer, Unveiling the Mystery. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're going to unravel the meaning behind the intriguing phrase, Go Under the Hammer. Whether you're a language enthusiast or someone curious about English idioms and expressions, this video is tailor-made for you. So, let's get started and explore the depths of this expression together. Go under the hammer refers to the process of being sold at an auction. The phrase draws its imagery from the traditional use of a gavel, which is a small hammer that an auctioneer uses. When the gavel is struck, it signifies the conclusion of the auction process, marking the moment when an item is sold to the highest bidder. This expression can be applied to various contexts, from the sale of antiques and artworks to real estate and other valuable assets. The origin of Go Under the Hammer is deeply rooted in the history of auctions themselves. Auctions date back thousands of years, serving as a method for selling goods and property to the highest bidder. The use of the hammer, or gavel, by auctioneers is a practice that symbolizes authority and finality. It's this action of the hammer falling that has given rise to the expression, symbolizing the completion of a sale and the transfer of ownership. To fully grasp the usage of, go under the hammer, let's look at some examples. The rare painting went under the hammer for a record-breaking price last night. Several vintage cars are set to go under the hammer at the upcoming auction. The old mansion went under the hammer after the owners decided to sell it. These examples illustrate how the phrase can be used in different scenarios, highlighting its versatility and relevance in various contexts. To deepen our understanding of the phrase, it's helpful to know a bit more about how auctions work. At an auction, items are presented one by one, and interested parties place bids. The item goes under the hammer when the auctioneer decides that the highest bid has been reached, signaling the end of bidding with a strike of the gavel. This moment is crucial as it determines the new owner of the item being auctioned. Thank you for joining us as we explored the meaning and usage of go under the hammer. We hope this video has shed light on this fascinating phrase and enriched your understanding of the English language. Remember, language learning is a journey filled with discoveries, and each idiom and expression adds color to this adventure. Until next time, keep learning and exploring. Happy language learning!